Today is the day kids are heading back into the classroom nearly full time for the first time since the pandemic started after a chaotic year of learning from home and out of whack schedules. I spoke with one local doctor who says the routine that school brings is exactly what kids need. It's back to school and back to what local pediatrician Dr. Gretchen Cody says is critical for kids routine. And for kids, they can control very little of their day to day. Um, so routine for them is one of the most important things um, that helps them feel that life is normal, even when life is not normal. The Piedmont Medical Center doctor says, especially in these not so normal times, having a set schedule for your kids can make life a little less scary. It does not have to be fancy and you don't have to kind of overdo it, but every little bit you add into the routine and help the kid predict how the day is going to go is going to help them feel more secure and then behave better. So how do you go from the relaxed, loose rules of learning from home to the much more regimented schedule of full-time school? The doctor says start small and build from there. I would start your routine with helping them at, in the evening get ready for school the next day. Is their school bag packed? Do they have lunch ready to go? Are their clothes laid out for the next morning? That gets them into a good um, routine of what to expect coming up in the morning. And it also makes you as a parent make your morning easier because their stuff's already ready to go. And parents, remember to give yourself some grace. It may take a minute to get into the groove, but don't give up on creating that routine because what's good for your kids is also good for you. Make the routine to make your life as a parent easier because when you are less stressed as a parent, you will be a better parent to your kids. Now, I asked the doctor what to do if you have a child who simply just does not want to go back to school. And she said the best thing you can do is just talk to them and, and find out why. Find out the root of why they're so reluctant. Uh, then come up with a game plan to help them navigate through those feelings. Again, cut yourself some slack. That was the number one thing that, that the doctor said. She said things are not going to be perfect to begin with. And that's OK, because perfection is it doesn't have to be. We don't have to be perfect. We just have to try.